What are the top five luxury communities in and around the Nashville area? Stay tuned because that's what we're talking about in today's video. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin Martin and I'm a local Nashville real estate agent and founder of the Caitlin Martin team. And we specialize in helping out-of-staters make the move to the Middle Tennessee area, whether it's two weeks, two months, or two years from now. We love helping those out-of-staters call Middle Tennessee home. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, thank you so much. Please feel free to click subscribe down below so that you are the first to know every time I release new video content all about making the move to the Middle Tennessee area. So in today's video, we are talking about the top five luxury communities in and around Nashville. And I wanna make sure that I make this distinction up front. So when we're gonna be talking about these communities, we're actually talking about five communities inside of Davidson County. Now, if this is your first introduction to the Middle Tennessee area. Davidson County is the county in which the heart of Nashville, downtown Nashville, is located in its surrounding communities. So in quarter two of 2022, we were actually named the top luxury real estate market in the entire country. And that's because we do have so many different types of luxury living. We have uh, luxury high rise condos. We've got lakefront living. We've got beautiful luxury homes within established neighborhoods. We also have luxury homes that sit on lots of acreage. So we just have so many different types of luxury property. So because of that, I really felt the need to to make the distinction that this video is about luxury properties within Davidson County near the heart of Nashville. And the reason is because I'm going to have a sister video follow up to this video about the luxury communities inside of Williamson County. And so Williamson County is going to be the county that's right below Davidson. It's going to be homes to communities like Franklin, Brentwood, Nolansville, communities like that. So that will be in the sister follow up video to this. But in today's video, we're going to be talking about those in Davidson County because because there's just so many great opportunity for luxury homes in and around Nashville. So let's go ahead and start diving into just what those communities are. So up first on the list, and by the way, this list is by no means in a specific order. This is just going to be, these are all five great communities but no certain distinction as in terms of one being better than the other. This is just the order that I put them in. So up first is going to be Bell Mead. So we are gonna take a look at a map to take a look at just where Bell Mead is along with our other communities that we're talking about today. So Bell Mead is actually gonna be home to the Bell Mead Plantation, which is where you can go and see the property, also partake in wine tours. Then it's also gonna be home to Cheekwood Botanical Garden. Uh, Cheekwood is a beautiful spot to go visit during the holidays they have it all decorated with millions of lights they also i mean the grounds are absolutely beautiful during the springtime when the flowers are in bloom and of course they have their fall festival every year too um, but bell mead is going to be one of these areas it is considered its own town however on the address it's still going to be considered nashville it actually has its own mayor its own city hall and its own police force and and speaking of police it's actually really important to know if you're actually driving through Bell Mead, they are very much sticklers for the speed limits in and around Bell Mead. So if you are driving through there, be very careful uh, because they will not hesitate to pull you over in Bell Mead. So let's actually go ahead and jump in and take a look at the map. And then we're going to be taking a look at some of the real estate opportunities in Bell Mead. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Okay, so wanted to give you an idea just of where Bell Mead is located. And it is two words, it doesn't run together. Um, but as you can see, it's noted here in this red dotted line. So not a super huge community. Again, it's only about three square miles total. Um, but I wanna zoom out just so that you have an idea of where it is located in proximity to Nashville. So if you look here on the map where I'm circling with the mouse, that is going to be, it's considered 
you know, Route 70 South. However, it does, as you cross over 440, that does turn into what's called West End Avenue, and that does take you right into the heart of Nashville. So Bell Mead is going to be very close. Now, the other thing that I want to mention, this is going to be getting a little bit ahead of what we're going to be talking about, but I do want to point it out because I believe it's important. So Bell Mead, it actually backs up to what is also considered Green Hills, and we're actually going to talk about Green Hills. Um, but Green Hills is a great community. I've actually done a previous video about Green Hills. So you can go check that out if you want to. Um, but Green Hills, where you see the Bluebird Cafe. So this is actually going to be Hillsborough Road. This is a very popular area, the Green Hills area. This is where you're going to find Trader Joe's. This is where you're going to find Whole Foods. So you can see that Bellmead, if those type of things are important to you, Bellmead is right there very close proximity and even though Hillsboro uh, Road gets really busy the nice thing about Bell Mead is you get to actually take the back roads into Green Hills um, so you know Green Hills is where you're going to find your grocery stores shopping the Green Hills Mall again so it's in uh, Bell Mead's a really great convenient location um, and it is in close proximity to Green Hills which we will talk about a little bit more in depth here coming up shortly but I did want to show you some different real estate opportunities that you can find in Bellmead. So I do want to share with you just some real estate opportunities, just so you can kind of see what the different real estate opportunities look like. So I did take our MLS map here. And even though this isn't the most accurate in terms of every little defined line of what Bellmead is, this is the general area. And so what you're seeing here, all the red, these are homes that are closed. Um, yellow is going to be what's under contract. And then the green that you see is what's on the market. The reason why I expanded it for this video is just because the number of homes on the market in Bell Mead right now is really slim, but I wanted to give you a better sense of what you could expect in terms of real estate opportunities overall. So as you can see, there's just there, you do have the opportunity for some of these more um, smaller, smaller homes, you know, 2,500 square feet on this Lincoln court. But as we go through this, you're going to see that the price point certainly jumps and just there's going to be different types of opportunities. So Bell Mead is one of these communities that you can find some really beautiful established homes, some with renovations, just really kind of that old school Nashville feel. But then there are opportunities kind of like this Cheekwood Terrace where you're going to have more new or newer construction opportunities as well. You can see these price points and what the square footage is as I scroll through these various opportunities, you know, kind of this Prospect Hill here. This is one that, again, is going to be speaking more to the older real estate style that was Bell Mead. Um, and again, you just have these so many different kinds of opportunities. Now, the nice thing about Bell Mead, just kind of as we take a look, so you do have some of these properties that are going to be smaller, they're going to sell in smaller lots, but you also have a great opportunity within Bell Mead to get a beautiful home that sits on a little bit larger of a lot. It's just dependent, you know, upon what it is that you're looking for. And so as you can see, just kind of as we scroll through like this, Jackson Boulevard here, as you can see, that's sitting at a 0.66 of an acre. This home has been sold, um, but as you can see, you know, this is going to be speaking more to that old traditional Bell Mead style as we just kind of take a quick look through. It really has that elegance and that grandeur to it. Um, so you do have opportunities like this. But again, as we kind of back out and take a look at what other opportunities there are, uh, you know, this Page Road, it went for 3.7. Um, if we take a look here, you can see this newer construction has a little bit more of a transitional modern flair to it. And so you do have this kind of opportunity as well within Bell Mead. And, and the nice thing is it's not just one specific home style. You do have a lot of opportunity within the Bell Mead community. And as you can see, the prices do certainly scale up. And if we actually go to our stats, you can take a look here at just like what the 
average um, price per square foot is in terms of what is active on the market. You can see the range here. You can see in terms of the coming soons. And then, of course, if you take a look at the closed, you can kind of see just depending on the type of property, you can see that that square footage certainly varies just depending on how much square footage and, and where it is within Bellmead. So you can kind of get an idea just of what opportunities there are for Bellmead. So a couple of other things to talk about in terms of Bell Mead. So there is the Bell Mead Country Club. Now this is members only and you do have to go through an extensive process in order to become a member, but there is a country club uh, there within Bell Mead. Now you do have the Percy Warner Park and the Edwin Warner Park. Then you also have the Percy Warner Golf Course. So you do have all of this um, in terms of the real estate. We took a look at, at what that looked like, um, but most of the real estate for Bell Mead is going to fall into the 37205 zip code. You do have some that end up falling into 37215, but most is gonna fall within 37205. Okay, so up next we're gonna talk about forest hills now if we're looking at a map which we will just so you can get an idea of where it is so it's actually gonna be butting up next to Bell Mead now forest hills is considered its own city within Nashville however the home addresses the residential addresses will still be under Nashville Tennessee now forest hills it does encompass about nine point three square miles so it's going to be three times the size of Bell Mead and it also has a population of around 5,000 according to the 2020 census. Now let's go ahead and start taking a look at Forest Hills where it is on a map and what the real estate opportunities look like. Okay so now we're taking a look at where Forest Hills is located on a map. So as you can see Bell Mead is going to be right up here so you can see that it actually does meet up right where kind of Bell Mead ends. So Forest Hills, a couple of things to know about this community. Again, it's going to be noted here in this red dotted line. And so you do have Hillsborough Pike, which I mentioned when talking about Belmead. It actually runs all the way through Forest Hills. A couple other things that I want to talk about in terms of this location. So this area, so you see here at the top of where Forest Hills is, this is a uh, Harding Pike that runs right up here. And so that does in fact run right into Green Hills. So if you live in Forest Hills, you do have the opportunity to again, like Bell Mead, be served by everything that Green Hills has to offer. Now Forest Hills before before it was fully developed, kind of the reason why its name is Forest Hills is just because, I mean, truly, you had so many rolling hills just covered with trees. It's a beautiful, beautiful area. Um, but one of the nice things about Forest Hills and one of the reasons why people love it is because you can get a beautiful home and generally you're going to be getting at least an acre, if not two acres in terms of lot size. So that makes it really nice. Um, if you're somebody that's really looking for more of an opportunity to have a house on a little bit bigger piece of land, Forest Hills is going to be a great opportunity. Now where it runs down here along the south side, that is going to be Old Hickory Bowl of arts that is going to be about where Davidson County ends and then Williamson County begins. So actually one of the really nice things about Forest Hills is just its location. You can get into Green Hills and all of the shopping and everything that Green Hills has to offer. You also can get into Brentwood very, very quickly in terms of everything that Brentwood has to offer. In fact, um, so you can actually see down here on the screen, you see Granny White Pike. That road, it, actually the red dotted line that separates Forest Hill from Oak Hill runs right up um, through there and Granny White can get you here. Um, and where you see this, this yellow star over here, this is the Hill Center in Brentwood where a lot of shopping takes place. So you do have just a really convenient location inside of Forest Hills. And that's one of the reasons why people love it. You get you get to feel a little bit like you're a little bit removed from the city in terms of sitting on a property that sits on a little bit of a bigger piece of land while also having the convenience of Green Hills, having the convenience of shopping in Brentwood and also having still relative ease in terms of getting into downtown Nashville. So that is why Forest Hills is really popular. So now we're gonna take a look at just some of the different real estate opportunity that you can find in Forest Hills.
Okay, so now we are taking a look. Again, this is going to be rough in terms of the lines of, of where Forest Hills is, but I just wanted to be able to, because you're not able to search specifically by Forest Hills, just want to be able to give you a good idea of just where it is on the map. And, and so we're taking a look at what your real estate opportunities look like within Forest Hills. And so as you can see in Forest Hills, you can have some of these older ranch styles that you will see here at the top of the MLS just because that is the least expensive. If you look at this home here on Tynewood Boulevard, uh, you can see just how they outlined the piece of land. What we're seeing specifically in Forest Hills and in in this general area that we're talking about if there is an older home generally an older ranch home if it hasn't been updated a lot of times what we're seeing is developers coming in knocking it down and building a brand new beautiful home on that land um so that's why you know you can see homes that are marketed in such a way so as you can see you do have some opportunity for a little bit of older homes and i will mention here tyne boulevard is one of the most coveted streets within the Nashville area in terms of just luxury property. Even though this is sitting at the 1.5 price point, there are some absolutely stunning homes. Tyne Boulevard is known for its luxury real estate. So if you see Tyne come up, just know that is one of the coveted streets within Nashville. But as you can see, you have other opportunities in terms of housing when it comes to Forest Hills. Um, again, you just get beautiful opportunities. You can take a look just to give you an idea. This is going to be a new construction opportunity. We have a lot of really great luxury builders here within the Nashville area. And so we are seeing more opportunity for these really beautiful new construction options. And this is just one example in which you can find uh, just you know here within forest hills and actually if we if we back out you can see down here in terms of acreage is sitting on one point almost five acres and then again we can just kind of back out now i will mention also chickering lane chickering is known as one of those that has some of the most expensive real estate in terms of within davidson county okay the other thing i want to point out you can see here uh two properties for sale on chickering chickering is going to be another one similar to tyne boulevard that is just known for having some of that really high-end real estate on it. Yes, there certainly, as you can see from the photos, uh, they're gonna be older, more established homes, but Chickering is a beautiful street and it does in part start in Bellmead, the other part continues into Forest Hills, um, but you do have a lot of great opportunity. Again, take a look, you do have this stunning home, new construction, so just a lot of great opportunity within Forest Hills overall, if you're just kind of curious what you can get. Um, and then we'll we'll take a quick look here. Again, that one's sitting on uh, over two acres. So as you can see, these are just some of what is available. And then the other thing that I do wanna take a look at um, is just gonna be the statistics here. So this is taking everything that's active on the market, the coming soons, the under contracts and the closed, just to give you an idea of what you can expect. And then as we take a look at these stats, um, obviously this is showing um, active coming soon under contract and closed. And as you can see overall, really in that price per square foot, you're really looking uh, kind of in the low 500s. And then just depending on the property, obviously it can go up to over 2000 a square foot. Again, that's gonna be talking about a property that was 40 million sold for 32. But overall, if you're looking at like the average and median, you really are going to be generally between that five to 600 uh, price per square foot when it comes to the Forest Hills area. Now, when it comes to zip codes for Forest Hills, you're looking at three primary zip codes, which are gonna be 37215 and 37220. Okay, now next we're gonna be talking about Oak Hill. So really on a map, we are moving our way east. Now Oak Hill, it does butt up right next to Forest Hills. And again, it's got a lot of great luxury real estate opportunity in this area. And so we're gonna take a look at a map. We're gonna take a look at the real estate opportunity. But again, Oak Hill, it is actually considered its own city. City, 
within Nashville. However, it does still carry that true Nashville address. So let's go ahead and take a look at where Oak Hill is and what the real estate opportunities are when it comes to Oak Hill. Okay, so now we are gonna be talking about Oak Hill. So as I said, we are really moving east. We started over here in Bell Me. We made our way to Forest Hill. Now we're taking a look at Oak Hill. So Oak Hill, it's going to be very similar in terms of the luxury opportunity um, in this area, especially similar to Forest Hills. It's just, it's its own designated area. So if you are looking at um, real estate or you're wanting to know where are these opportunities, it's certainly worth talking about and, and designating these various communities within Nashville. Now, one thing to know about Oak Hill is going to be, this is where the majority of Radnor Lake is going to be located. So Radnor Lake State Park, this is not a lake that you go boating on. This is not one that you go swimming in. Um, in fact, they prohibit that. This is one where really you go and walk the trail around the lake. It's really beautiful. People love it. Here it is. Like you're actually, you know, as we zoom out, you're actually in close proximity to downtown Nashville, but you have this really peaceful place. People love to go to Radnor um, at all times of year. So Radnor is a great place to go and enjoy. But again, this is just giving you an idea of where Oak Hill is. Really the cutoff for Oak Hill is going to be where it meets up with Interstate 65. And it actually does come all the way up to Woodmont Boulevard, um, which is a road that does run into Green Hills, which we will be talking about Green Hills next. Uh, spoiler alert there. So we do, uh, you, you can take a look just to get an idea. A um, couple of other major roads to know about, especially if you're coming to the area and you're trying to get a, a sense of where you are, couple of, of areas to know, a couple of roads to keep in mind. So there is Tyne Boulevard. I have mentioned this. Tyne extends into Forest Hills. This is again, one of those uh, coveted streets in the Nashville area to live on. Uh, so Tyne does cut through part of Oak Hill. Also Battery Lane. Battery Lane is, so when you get off Interstate 65, this is one of the appeals of the Oak Hill area is you have great close proximity to jumping on Interstate 65 because there is an, an on-ramp here. But when you get off, you have Battery Lane, which Battery Lane is one where they've actually taken a lot of smaller homes that sit on these larger lots. They've knocked them down and they have built some gorgeous homes on it. But Battery Lane, it does change as you as you get to uh, where Battery Lane and Granny White intersect, then it becomes Harding Place. And But you can take all of this straight into Green Hill. So great close uh, proximity overall. So as you can see, this is really where Oak Hill is going to be. And so we're gonna take a look at just some of your real estate opportunities. Again, this isn't the most specific when it comes to uh, the lines drawn to show you, but it gives you the general gist of where Oak Hill is. Um, because again, you can't search um, within our MLS system by say Bellmead or Forest Hill or Oak Hill. Um, so this is, but this is very, you know, it's not the most defined lines, but it gives you it's basically encompassing the Oak Hill area. So as you can see, um, there's there's just a lot of different types of real estate opportunity within Oak Hill. You do have some of these older properties. And again, a lot of times what we're seeing, depending on the condition of the home, developers may be coming in, knocking those down and building new homes. One thing that we've seen in Oak Hill, and as we take a look and scroll through these different opportunities, um, but as you can see, you can get homes um, generally speaking, so right here you can see on Caldwell Lane, there's actually 943A, 941B. Um, so what these actually are, are HPR. So that's horizontal property regime. Basically it means tall and skinny, but as you can see, um, these homes, I mean, they're 51, 5,200 square feet. They're still a good size, but it basically, what an HPR is, is when a developer has come in, they've knocked a home down and then they've put two new homes on one lot and you actually share property tax when you're in an HPR. One of the benefits to HPR can be the fact that you actually are not the one responsible for the, you know, you don't have a lot of upkeep in terms of the yard because it is split between two. So if you're looking for more of a maintenance-free type living, that can be an opportunity. And so we do see, you know, a number of people gravitate towards that. You know, as you can see, 
um, kind of like I've mentioned with the others is you do have these opportunities for new construction. Um, this home sitting on its own half acre. And so as you can see, again, just more opportunity for new construction. That is actually just one of the, the beautiful things about the growth that we've seen in Nashville is you do have that opportunity to get a really beautiful new construction home um, with quality finishes because I know sometimes, you know, I've had clients that are very particular about the level of finish. And so we are very fortunate that we do have quality builders here, especially in this luxury price point that make sure that they really pay attention to the fine details. And so you do end up with a really nice quality home. And so again, I'm just going to kind of scroll through so you can just see the exterior, the different types of houses, what these price points look like. And then we're also going to take a look just at the statistics. So if you were curious, um, see here's uh, this 1043 Tyne Boulevard listed at 9.75. This home I've actually been in, it is absolutely beautiful. And while it has more of that uh, traditional Tudor style, when you go on the inside, it is absolutely gorgeous. In fact, I'll just take a quick little um, peruse through here just so that you can see. Um, and again, this home sits on a larger lot, but as you can see, it really has this cozy feel. You have this room, the sunlight in it is absolutely stunning as you go through. Um, you've got a nice uh, cozy kitchen again with the amount of square foot footage when it comes to this house sometimes it could feel really expansive but they've done a nice job of the way they've really allocated the square footage and the way that they've uh, designed the space it's been real it's really nice and it doesn't feel overwhelming by any means it's listed by gerard bullock and um aaron kruger here in nashville but that is a beautiful home but again you can just see here in terms of the different types of real estate opportunities and we are going to take a look at the statistics and this is going to run very similar again to forest hills uh you kind of can almost lump the two together but in terms of for looking at what the cost per square footage is you're really looking in that mid 500 it can vary just de depending on again size of property and and some of those other factors but again this is kind of what you're looking at when it comes to the oak hill neighborhood so the zip codes for oak hill if you're wondering they're going to be 37027 37204 and 37220. Now we're going to talk about Green Hills because I've talked about Forest Hill, Oak Hill, got to talk about Green Hills. Now, unlike Forest Hills and Oak Hill, Green Hills itself is actually not considered its own city. It's just considered to be a neighborhood within Nashville. And the biggest zip code that's going to encompass most of the Green Hills area is going to be 37215. Now, Green Hills, I, like I've mentioned earlier, I have done a previous video about Green Hills. I actually have lived in Green Hills and I loved it for several reasons. I loved the fact that it was so convenient. Um, it was easy to get into Nashville, like downtown Nashville. You also have everything right there at your fingertips. I've already mentioned the fact that you have Trader Joe's and Whole Foods in Green Hills but you also are going to have Kroger. You also have the Green Hills Mall, which is our luxury mall within the Middle Tennessee area. You've got different shops, different restaurants. Now, the downside of Green Hills is the fact that that Hillsboro Road can become very congested, especially on the weekends around the mall. Traffic can be pretty backed up, even when it comes close to the holidays. But I do love the convenience of Green Hills. And when you live there, you actually learn the back roads to get around to avoid as much traffic traffic as possible, which is really nice. So let's take a look at where Green Hills is on a map and just what the different opportunities are when it comes to luxury real estate in Green Hills. Okay, so taking a look at the map, this is the red dotted line. This is gonna denote where the Green Hills neighborhood is. And actually, as you can see, it does touch Bell Mead Forest Hill and Oak Hill. Green Hills, like I mentioned before, is just great convenience, great proximity. You can easily jump on 440, get into Nashville. So you do have a very close proximity to downtown Nashville, which is, is great because you kind of get the best of both worlds where you're not necessarily within the heart of Nashville dealing 
with that city living, you can have opportunities for, you know, single family homes, but you also have that great convenience of being able to not only get into downtown, but to get around Nashville, wherever it is you're trying to go. Um, so it does just provide a really convenient location. Now we're gonna take a look at just what the real estate opportunities are. So as you can see, there is a lot on the market within Green Hill. In Green Hills, you can find a, all sorts of different types of real estate. So you can find uh, townhomes, like luxury, beautiful townhomes. You can also find HPRs and uh, both attached and detached, which again are those you know considered tall and skinny but they actually can be more uh more of like the more narrow but deep in terms of the the luxury housing uh you also can find homes that are going to be well established they've been here for a while they have stood the test of time um you can find cottage style you can find the ranch style then you're going to have more um of that modern feel and so really you know again the nice thing about nashville and one of the things that people love is there's pretty much something for everyone in terms of house style. You're not necessarily locked into one particular type because as you can see, even as we scroll, I mean, take a look here at just the four that we've got here. You know, you've got Richard Street, that's an HPR, then as well as Biltmore, but you can tell one's far more modern where one carries more of the traditional style. Then you have this Bow Ring Park home. Again, this is going to be speaking more to Nashville several years ago. Then you also have Richard Street, which that in and of itself looks like it could potentially be a teardown, which is something that we're seeing in the Green Hills area. I know we've already kind of talked about it a little bit when it comes to Forest Hill, Oak Hill, um, in terms of we're seeing more of these older homes being torn down for these more, you know, builders come in and put luxury opportunities in. Green Hills is no different. We're seeing that opportunity as well. And so I'm just gonna kind of give you a scan just so you can kind of see what the price points look like. Um, you know, Estes Road is considered one of the big time roads that runs through the Green Hills area. It is gonna be more traveled, but again, you're gonna find great real estate opportunities along Estes. But, you know, some people absolutely love the convenience of Estes and getting around, and that's actually a really great back road to getting around to certain places in Green Hills as well. So again, just gonna kind of scroll through here give you a little bit of an idea just in terms of what you can find. Now, I will actually point out this Wallace Road home. Um, so this is an example. This home is just a couple of years old. Example of where an older home was torn down. This is a really deep lot. This house, you know, really has more of, it's got kind of European mixed with Southern architecture on the outside. I have been in this home. It is its own unique style, but in my personal opinion, it all ends up actually working together as you can see i mean bold statements in terms of the design here within this home really beautiful but as you can see like there is this opportunity in the green hills area you know and again this is going to have i'll just kind of scroll through these photos for you personally one of my favorite parts about this entire home is this uh primary bedroom that to me this feels very much like a luxury european hotel really beautifully done but the nice thing about it and and i believe what this speaks to is just the fact that within nashville within green hills when you're looking at these different types of luxury properties they're not going to be cookie cutter by any means you do have an opportunity for different home styles one that speaks to what it is that you're looking for you know we do have some really beautiful modern homes as well but i just think it's really important important as people are taking a look at what they can get to know that you're not just locked into one style. There are different opportunities and we're going to take a look here. Green Hills going to be very similar to Forest Hill to Oak Hill in terms of just where you're looking at that average price per square foot. And again, a lot of what's driving that is just the demand for the area and, and the, the price point as well. So you do have great opportunity within Green Hills. And so again, this is going to be Green Hills. Again, it's not a city, but it is its own neighborhood. And it is one that a lot of people uh, gravitate towards just because they love the convenience of what the location has to offer.
Okay, and then number five is gonna be 12 South. Now this, like Green Hills, it's actually not considered its own city. It is a neighborhood. It's just not considered its own city. Now 12 South is gonna be arguably one of our most popular walkable communities. And that is why it's going to draw both tourists and residents alike. So in 12 South, you do have the actual, the road is called 12 South. Um, and down the strip of 12 South, that's where you're going to find different shops, different retail, different restaurants, different coffee shops. So there's a lot in 12 South which is one of the reasons why it's so desirable because it is such a walkable community. So that's why you're going to find a slew of tourists, including bachelorettes, as well as homeowners that wanna live there because they really want that walkable lifestyle. Now, I did do a video a couple of years ago about 12 South that you can take a look if you want to. However, we are gonna take a look again at where 12 South is and gonna take a look at what the real estate prices are in 12 South uh, because they've certainly changed since that video that I did a couple of years ago. So let's go ahead and take a look at 12 South and what the real estate opportunities are there as well. Okay, so now we're taking a look at our last stop on this video tour. This is going to be the 12 South community. Again, this is in demand just because of what 12 South has to offer. So as you can see, it's not a super large community. And really, if we're taking a look at 12 South, it does butt up into this Hillsborough Belmont area, uh, which is also uh, has luxury opportunity, but 12 South, it really is in demand just because of its walkability. So if you are wanting luxury, but you're wanting a walkable community um, with shops, restaurants, things like that, 12 South could be a great opportunity within um, Davidson County. And so as we take a look, this is gonna be real estate opportunities within the 12 South area. Now, as you can see, there's not a lot on the market right now. I mean, we're really looking at 13 listings as of the shooting of this video. Um, but as you can see, I mean, you do have this little two bed, one bath at 855 square feet. That is 500,000. But as you can see in 12 South, again, you're really going to find in 12 South, you've got different types of real estate opportunity. This Grove, that's going to be that modern HPR that we've talked about. This home right here is incredible. That Now, this is actually a historic property, um, and that's actually something that we haven't talked about. But within all these communities that we're looking at, several properties actually have landed themselves. They're, they're deemed historic. They're on the historic registry, so you have to keep that in mind. But this one has been renovated from top to bottom. It's absolutely beautiful, walkable to 12 South. And as you can see, you know that, that obviously carries that higher price price tag with it. In 12 South, again, you are going to have some of these renovated homes. You're going to also have opportunity for new construction as well. But again, 12 South, not that big. However, as you drive the area, you will notice that there are different types of housing. It's not just one style or one kind of house. You do have opportunity. Now, the other thing to point out about 12 South is because it is closer to the city, that means that you're generally going to have a smaller lot size but at the same time, you're kind of exchanging lot size for the ability to be in a walkable neighborhood. And as we just take a look, again, this is gonna be slightly less than kind of the Oak Hill, um, Forest Hills, Belmead area in terms of these price per square foot. But I did just wanna pull this up to show you, you're, you're kind of looking more in the fours to the five up to, you know, again, depending, it can go higher than that on price per square foot. So just wanted to be able to denote that. And again, we're looking specifically here at 12 South, but you could increase this area to include Belmont as well, where you can find some great housing there too. And again, this just shows you kind of where you are when it comes to price per square foot for the 12 South area. So that was 12 South and really you could lump Belmont in there. The prices really aren't gonna change all that much when you lump the Belmont area and neighborhood. Um, you know, one of the things to note just really about the Green Hills, Belmont, 12 South, area you are you do have that really great close proximity to Vanderbilt University and Belmont University um, so those are great things to keep in mind now the other thing that I want to touch on when it comes to these luxury communities in the Nashville area so the reason why I'm going to do a sister video about Williamson County is the fact that you know when people are trying to decide where they want to be if they do have kids they're going to be looking at school scores especially if they're considering their options between private school and public school and so you 
you're going to find if you do the research on greatschools.org, you're going to see that the public rated school scores for Williamson County are generally going to be considerably higher than that of Davidson County. And so sometimes people want to gravitate towards Williamson County if they want to be within the public school system. So when it comes to Nashville, if people are wanting to be, you know, closer proximity to Nashville, you know, one of the things that we didn't touch on specifically though is the airport proximity. So in all of these communities, obviously because it's closer to Nashville, the airport is going to be located just a few miles east of downtown Nashville. You know, it just does provide great close proximity to the airport. There's a lot of convenience there. However, you know, if we're talking about schools and people still have children and they're considering their school options, you know, Davidson County schools, especially in these neighborhoods that we're talking about, they're not going to be generally rated as highly as those in Williamson County. So a lot of times those that do want to opt for the location of say Bellmead, Forest Hills, Oak Hills, you know, the communities that we've talked about, a lot of times they're also going to be looking at the private school option. So that way, you know, there's a lot of great private schools located in and around the Nashville area. And so because of that, you know, there is that draw for those families that do have children, if they want to put them in private school, then I know a lot of times that can precipitate where they want to live and without having to be too far of a drive to the private school. And so that's why these communities can be attractive to people that are looking at the different private school options. So again, I hope that this was helpful and just kind of give you an idea of just where great luxury opportunity is within the Nashville area. I will have a video coming out soon following this one up about what are great luxury opportunities if you want to consider Williamson County. So I do have that video coming up. So stay tuned for that. Again, if you are thinking about making a move to the Middle Tennessee area, please do not hesitate to reach out to me. All of my contact information is down below. If you're ready to start that conversation, I actually have a link to go ahead and book a Zoom call with me. But if you're not quite ready for that just yet, that's okay too. I do have a free Nashville relocation guide down below that you can click to download that has so much information in it. And then please, again, don't hesitate to reach out when you are ready to start that conversation, whether it's two weeks, two months, or two years from now, we are helping people make the move all the time and we would love to help you. And again, my name is Caitlin Martin. I'll see you next time.